So, I heard you want to be more productive. Well, you came to the right place because today we are diving into the land of extended monitors. Picture this, you're working on your laptop trying to be your most efficient self, but let's face it, that tiny screen can sometimes feel like a productivity roadblock. Well, we got the solution for you. Say goodbye to the squinting and constant tab switching because this nifty gadget is about to revolutionize the way you work, study and play. The Duex Max is a portable screen laptop accessory that's about to become your new productivity sidekick. Whether you are a student, a busy professional or a multitasking wizard, this monitor will be your productivity genie granting all your screen space wishes. This is not just your average second screen, oh no. This one is much more. It's sleek, it's stylish, it effortlessly attaches to your laptop with the magnetic magic. No need for complicated setups or time-wasting kickstands. Just slap it on and you are ready to roll. You can also customize your work setup to fit your exact needs. Need a dual monitor experience? Done. Prefer to have a vertical setup for reading those long articles? Easy peasy. The Duex Max bends to your will, giving you the flexibility you deserve. Before we get into the nitty gritty of this review, I wanted to disclose that I have received this monitor from the awesome people over at Mobile Pixels for this review. However, as always, I am committed to stay transparent and providing you with the honest and unbiased review. Mobile Pixel didn't ask me to say anything specific or put any word in my mouth. They understand that the real reviews come from the real experiences and that's exactly what I'm here to share with you today. So whether the Duex Max ends up wowing me or leaves something to be desired, you will be the first one to know because they won't see this review before I upload it. But enough chit chat, let's move on. I have to say the design and build quality feels really good. The monitor itself has a premium feel and I could tell right away that mobile pixels didn't compromise on quality. Now other than the monitor we will find a helpful guide in the box that will walk us through the setup process. This guide provides a clear instruction on how to place the four magnets on the backside of the laptop. These magnets are what securely attaches the Duex Max to your laptop screen. And guess what? Mobile Pixel knows that sometimes we change laptops, so they were clever enough to include additional adhesive in case we want to reattach the magnets on another laptop in the future. It's those little details that makes the difference. Next, I found a USB-C to USB-C cable with a full-size adapter attached to it. Now, this is something I find really handy because it opens up a world of possibilities. Not only that we can connect the Duex Max to our laptop via USB-C for seamless experience, but the full-size adapter also means we can utilize this cable in multiple scenarios where our only option is to connect with, with that. It is also attached to the cable so we don't have to look for it when we need it. Kudos for thinking ahead and providing such versatility. With everything unboxed, it was time to get down to business and set up the monitor. I simply attached it by following the guide and within minutes I was ready to connect the monitor. Since my laptop is on a bulkier side, I was not afraid that my hinge would not be able to handle the weight of the additional monitor, which by the way is around 800 gram. The USB-C connection ensured a smooth and fast pairing and before I knew it, I had an extended screen ready to boost my productivity. Now I was a bit skeptical about the full HD resolution on a 14.1 inch screen, but oh boy was I pleasantly surprised. The screen looks surprisingly nice and I found the resolution to be more than adequate for my daily tasks. It is crystal clear, making the texts sharp and the images vibrant. As I mentioned, setting up the monitor was a breeze. It's pretty much plug and play. The USB-C connection works like a charm, providing a seamless experience without any lag or delays. There are also buttons on the back side of the monitor. These buttons allow me to control basic functions like brightness and color temperature. On the side of the monitor, I discovered an additional USB-C port. However, I'm not entirely sure about the purpose of this one. I mean, when I tried to plug in my phone to charge it, yes, my phone was charging, but also the screen just turned off. So. This is something I still have to figure out. If any of you know what is the correct use case for this port, just let me know in the comment section down below. Now let's talk about a small negative I noticed during my usage. I found that the right side of the back of the screen tends to feel warm to the touch, especially when I crank up the brightness to 100%. 
While this hasn't caused any immediate issues, it's something that I will keep an eye on to ensure it doesn't affect the device performance or longevity in the long run. Another thing I noticed was that the G sensor is kind of acting weird. I believe it was not calibrated properly because when I use the screen in portrait mode and it's set to the left orientation, the slightest movement can cause to flip. However, the solution for this is to set it to the right orientation for vertical use and then the chances of flipping the screen accidentally will be a lot less. And last but not least, we also have to consider the fact that since we are adding an additional screen to our setup, it most likely will eat the battery life away a lot quicker. I mean, it's not an issue if you are close to an outlet, but this is also something to keep in mind. I couldn't resist the urge to see how it would perform on different size laptops, so I decided to put it to the test on both of my Alienware gaming laptop and my Dell laptop. And you know what? It passed with flying colors on both. Flying colors? What even is that? On my Alienware, it's seamlessly integrated with my powerful gaming setup. I was impressed by how smoothly it extended my screen, making gaming session even more immersive. The extra screen space was perfect for monitoring performance stats, keeping an eye on chat, and managing other tasks without interrupting the gaming experience. Switching to my Dell laptop, the Duex Max didn't miss a beat. The transition was smooth and the extra screen space was a lifesaver for productivity. Whether I was working on spreadsheets, multitasking with multiple windows, or editing documents, the dual screen setup was a game changer. One of the things I really like about this screen is its versatility. It's not just a second screen for work or gaming, but it also comes in handy for different scenarios. For instance, when I fold the screen back on its hinges, I can use it as a presentation monitor. It's perfect for sharing content with others or giving that killer presentation in a boardroom. I have even used it as a second screen for my iPad, my phone, and as a third one for my desktop PC. But I quickly realized that iPad and my phone does not really support this screen. I could only use it to mirror the screen on both devices. I mean, some of you might find this useful as well, but in my case, I would like to be able to put two separate windows on each screen. Extending my screen real estate for everyday use on my desktop PC was not an issue at all. Again, just plug and play. The 2X Max has truly become a dynamic companion in my tech arsenal. It adapts effortlessly to my different devices, well, most of them, and serves a multiple purpose, making it a must-have for anyone who values productivity, creativity, and convenience. Overall, my experience with the Duex Max has been a delight. Its portability, ease of use, and crisp display have significantly boosted my productivity. Whether I'm working on multiple tasks, studying, or enjoying some game sessions, having that extra screen real estate has made a world of difference. It will definitely be useful for my future works and projects. At the same time, if you enjoyed this type of content and you want to check out another useful one, click on my previous video where I demonstrate how to turn on your PC with your voice.